Okay, so today we're going to be doing the burrito method. And I have a bodice here. Also, I have the neckline sewn already. All right, so this is my outer. And then my lining is pink just so that you can um, see the difference. So when I do the burrito method, the burrito method is for finishing your arm size. I like to clip my bodice together at the bottom centers just to keep it more organized. And then I like to clip the shoulder seam of my outer and the shoulder seam of my liner so that I know which side that I'm working on. I don't clip the side that I'm not going to be sewing. So to do the burrito method, you're going to lay your bodice right side up on your table and you're just going to roll the side over like this until it's laying on top of your outer fabric on the other arm. And then you're going to take and you're going to pinch this in your hand and then this one you are going to flip it under so that the right side of your lining is facing up, the right side of your outer is facing up, and the opposite arm is rolled in here. Okay, and then you're going to take this shoulder seam and you're going to line it up with this shoulder seam. Like that. And then you're going to clip it or pin it, whatever you prefer. And then you're going to match up your underarm seam here. And we're going to clip all the way around. So now you have your lining and your outer fabric right sides together in here. And the other arm is stuck in here. It's like sandwiched in there. And then it looks like this from the other side. Okay, and we're just gonna sew this with whatever seam allowance your pattern calls for. Okay, so now that we have it all nice and sewn together, we are going to just clip into the curves here so that it lays nice and smooth. So this is the what it should look like. And it's still sandwiched down in there. Okay, so it should look like that. There. If you, um, if you have a thicker fabric, you can trim your seam allowance down. And if you have a sleeve or something shoved up in here, then you might want to trim it down to reduce the bulk. But this is just an example. And then you're going to pull it through. So. Alright, so when you're... you're your bodice will be looking like this, and we're going to just pull it all through here, okay, to untuck it. Okay, and this is the side that we just sewn, and this is the side that was rolled up and sandwiched in between there. And it's nice and finished. So this is the lining, and this is the outer. And you'll just need to give it a good press. Your seams are all finished, and we're just going to repeat that for the other side. Okay. 
I'm just gonna sew it up again. And then after you press it, it'll look like this. Now, to finish the side seams, so that the seams are all encased, you would just take your linings and your outer, like this. And the other side, so matching it up here. And then you're just gonna sew your side seams down. And there's your bodice on the outside. And then the inside just as neat and finished.